This is the place. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. The faint sound of birdsong, the quiet murmur of the streams. <sighs> These are relaxing sounds. <sighs> are they not the music of which you speak? Oh! Uh, Paimon wasn't quite done with the description. <laughs> okay, fine, it's all Paimon's fault. What we're looking for are not the sounds of nature, but melodies played on special instruments. Oh, and a melody is? Hey! Don't you patronize Paimon! <sighs> Let's get one thing straight. Paimon knows plenty of nursery rhymes, but Paimon does not sing on demand without payment. Hey, why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, was that from the opera that Yunjin sang? Mm-hmm. That was a melody, and melodies can be called music. <sighs> it felt like I was transported back to the past. In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. <sighs> We're all there, raising our glasses and drinking to our heart's content on the Jade Chamber. As I watched Yunjin's performance, I felt a warm sensation in my heart. <sighs> and as the drink reached my stomach, it went from warm to hot. When you hummed that melody just now, Feelings from a whole year ago came right back to me, as strong as they were on that day. Huh. So that's the power of music. Wow, Shenha. That was so deep! Music definitely has the power to bring up memories. It's like a time capsule with all the special moments from our life squished inside. What about you, Ganyu? Are there any melodies that have left a deep impression on you? Um... I don't remember if my parents ever sang any lullabies to me. I know some local folk songs. And a few other things come to mind, too. The songs of the sailors down at the docks. The little ditties that the vendors call out in front of their beloved shops. The tunes of folk artists performing on the streets. Yes, that's right. In the past, whenever I heard the sound of those tunes, I always felt that they were worlds apart from me. Nenny and Liu probably view me as a non-human. And they are right, in the sense that I never could connect with humans' artistic expression and their sentiments. So I haven't been able to integrate into their community and be a part of their lives. At least, that's the view I held in the past. Only more recently did I start to realize that... The only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all that different from other people after all. They're about mundane details of everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, joys and sorrows. Even though we come from different backgrounds and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things that we see and experience around us each day in the city, in that sense, we're all the same. You go, Ganyu! You're really making progress. You have loads of friends in Liyue Harbor when you think about it. Like... Um... Okay, maybe some are more like co-workers and bosses. But, at the very least, Kuching and Shenna are your friends now, right? Yes, I am. 
Technically speaking, we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. <sighs> but now that I know what constitutes a friendship, I do believe we are more friends than co-disciples. Thank you, everyone. Once the days are warmer, I would like to host you at my home in the city. Please invite Kuching as well. I've planted many types of flowers. <clears throat> I'm sure some of them will be to your taste. Ah, uh, you are too kind. I couldn't possibly. Nonsense. You are my friend. I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. Once you've seen them for yourself, I am sure you can advise me how to do an even better job next time. I will save some for decoration. We can feast on the rest. Then, thank you in advance. Wait, what is that saying again? If you insist? Do people say that? <sighs> I'm not completely sure either. It doesn't matter, okay? You got the point across. No need to split hairs. Um, Paimon's more concerned about your idea of a girl's night out. Eating flowers? Really? Does this have anything to do with you both being the disciples of that illuminated bird? Hm. Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title, but merely as that illuminated bird? Master. Our greetings, Cloud Retainer. Ah! There it is! The illuminated bird has landed! Double hoomph. Now she has the gall to use it, rather than she, even after being chastised once already? Huh. Barely a moment has passed since we last met, and yet your impertinence has reached new heights. Very well. If you refuse to learn your lesson, one shall scold you no further. One has received your message from Ganyu. On the matter of the Adeptus you seek, one suspects to know their identity. Well, shall one lead the way? I still have to complete my training for today, so I will bid farewell to everyone here. Very well. Await my arrival at one's abode later this night. On this special occasion, you should indulge yourself with some savory dishes. If you want to release a Shao Lantern, Come and find us any time. Thank you, everyone. Happy Lantern Rite to you, too. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm.